Venice and Siena are wonderful cities, but they're very popular. Throughout Europe, I make a point to venture beyond the famous stops. In Bosnia, watch daredevils jump from a bridge rebuilt after the war. In England, climb your own private peak. In the north of Spain, you can join the pilgrims on the route to Santiago. I love the charm of the Cinque Terre, five remote and traffic-free villages wedged in the most rugged bit of the Italian Riviera, trying to hide out from today's modern world as they did from pirates centuries ago. Each town is a character. This is Vernazza. While this stretch of coast was an exciting discovery for me 30 years ago, it's pretty touristy now, and that's the case with much of Europe. But Europe still has its untouristy corners. And even in popular places like this, you can still find your own back doors. Venture away from the spiffed up commercial zones. Explore. Vernazza has no modern hotels, and that's actually good news. It keeps away the high-maintenance travelers, those that demand all the four-star comforts. You can sleep in humble pensions, move in with families renting out spare rooms, and enjoy the classic small-town Riviera experience. Whether the place is touristy or not, you can always connect with the locals. Offer to catch a line. Now, jump. And leave the crowded main street. Support the local entrepreneurs. Como se llama? Conquilla. Conquilla, shell. In English, shell. Quanto costa? Two euro. Two euro. Okay. Good. Gracias. Buon lavoro. Ciao. <laughs>